Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rebecca, aka V More Day Cat, all that shit. Anyway, so today is a camper update in a different way than usual, I guess. Today I'm getting a hitch installed onto my Mini Cooper. Y'all don't know, like, the stress to get this hitch installed. Like, it's a Mini Cooper, it's a sports car. Nobody wants to install a hitch on it. <laughs> but. There's this U-Haul out in Queens that said that they would do it. Um, it was supposed to be installed like last week, but apparently like the actual parts were stuck in Canada. In customs, that's what I was trying to say. They were stuck in customs in Canada. And they moved my appointment over to today. And I tried to call them and confirm, but like nobody's picking up the phone. So hopefully that the, the parts finally got the U-Haul. We're just gonna show up and hope, hope that they're there. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna just sit there and wait for my car to be worked on because if it's gonna be like an hour or two I'll sit and do some editing like I'll bring my laptop and work But if it's gonna take a long time, I'll like I guess take an uber back I just really hope I get my hitch installed because I got a notification that my actual trailer Has shipped and now I can actually like, you know start Putting the towing situation in play um, The towing situation the camper situation and the electrical situation like those are the three situations that I'm ironing out um, so if I get the towing situation ironed out in the next couple days, I'll be so happy. All right, so let's go Let's talk money really quick because I've been super upfront with you guys about how much everything is costing me. So initially um, My first quote the first quote anybody gave me about installing a hitch onto my car was around like $700 and I was like no way bro like no way It's just a piece of metal you screw to the back of your car not happening. So then I looked into doing it myself um, and I saw that I can get a hitch for like two hundred dollars ish and then it's like I could have done it like I could have gone online and figured it out it's not like I would give it a dick diff a difficulty <laughs> I would give it a difficulty level of like a four out of ten in terms of like car things um but that's like a little hard for me considering I don't know anything about car things right but like doable like I could have done it so I was like doing all my research, finding out which hitch to install, finding out how to do it, etc, etc. And it would have cost me, at the end of the day, like $300 in total, plus like a couple hours of my time. And I was going to do that, like that was the plan. And then my next door neighbor was like, why don't you get a hitch installed at U-Haul? And I was like, U-Haul installs hitches? I literally never thought of that ever, ever. So I looked into it, and they could install a hitch for $230. Like literally... The labor plus the hitch was less expensive than doing it myself. So I'm not a fool, so here we are. I know that this truck is not carrying toilet paper for giants. Wait, am I supposed to? Oh no, I'm good. I know it's not carrying toilet paper for giants, but it looks like it's carrying toilet paper for giants, okay? I really hope this part came. I really do. I found turn it. Right. Then the destination is on your I left. will turn right, thank you very much. This is the no, that's not right. Wow, okay. Uh-huh. So what I don't know what to do. Equipment return. The no. Is on your left. I see it. Moving and storage. Thank you, Siri. Um I found it, but I think I have to go inside to like tell them I'm here or something. So the bad news is the mechanic guy didn't know I was coming. That's not a good sign. It's not a good sign. I swear when it comes to like, <laughs> the doors are opening as I walk past them. When it comes to like hitches and trailers and stuff, nothing's going right. Like everything has some hiccup to it. But we're still waiting for the mechanic to check with like the office or whatever to see if my parts are in or, or what's going on. I would hate to have to go home right now after driving up here. That would suck. My parts are still stuck in customs in Canada. Apparently they've been in customs for two weeks. What are they doing with my hitch in Canada? I have no idea. <sighs> but we're going home. Here's the plan. I made a new plan. So we're gonna give this like two or three weeks, whatever, for the parts to come in. If they don't come in, I will request a refund. Purchase my own hitch online somewhere and then bring it here for installation. Cause the guy said like installation's like 90 bucks. So either way, I should have a hitch installed by, I don't know, end of June? Whenever this video comes out, I guess I would have gotten the hitch installed. This is gonna happen. So cut to when the hitch arrives, go.
three weeks later. Oh, I think it's a little, oh, there you go. Hey guys, good morning. Here's uh, my second attempt to getting a hitch installed onto my car. I did get a call from U-Haul a couple weeks ago and they said that they got my like parts in. So I'm heading over there right now and hopefully all goes smoothly and it doesn't take very long. Let's go. All right, we're almost here again. Oh my god, I really hope I can get this installed today. I don't know if it's a good sign or a bad sign that the hitch install place is closed. I hear like metal being cut noises, so I think that's maybe a good sign they're working on somebody else. That metal being cut was not a hitch install. It was like somebody working on the back of their truck, but um, there's like no place to park. Like everything is taken. Um, I'm parked somewhere that I definitely shouldn't be, but I'm gonna run inside and see if I can drop off my car. See, that's the place I went last time, but it's closed. So I think I'm just gonna go into like the main entrance. There's a long line. Okay, so I have good news and I have bad news. The good news is, they ha actually I have two bad news. The good news is they have the parts for the hitch install and they're gonna be doing it today. The first bad news is I'm gonna end up paying like an extra $200 because the wiring and the wiring install is it actually like $200 that's ridiculous so I mean what am I gonna do at this point I really want it so I'm just gonna say yes let's go for it the second bad news is I, I was hoping they could do it like while I wait like it would take like an hour hour and a half and I would just like sit on the floor or whatever but apparently it's gonna take about five hours because they have like a lot of shit today they're really busy so I'm gonna have to go home and then come back and pick them up later remember how the guy said my car would be ready in four to five hours well it's been seven hours still no call to go pick up my car so i tried to call them like an hour ago and no one picked up and i just called them again and someone picked up but then they put me immediately on hold and that was 12 minutes ago so hopefully they pick up on me soon and my car is ready because it's 5 p.m and i need my car tomorrow so i don't want to leave it there overnight okay it's been like 17 minutes so i'm just gonna hang up and call again Hopefully they pick up on me this time. You all set to flush in my house, you. Hi, um, I dropped off my car to get a hitch earlier today. I was wondering if it's ready. Mini Cooper? Yeah. Yes, it is. It's ready. Awesome. All right, I'm coming. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye-bye. Why didn't they call me? I've been sitting here. He said he was going to call me when it's ready. <laughs> I've been sitting here for seven hours. I mean, like, I've been working and shit, editing videos, but... Okay, let's, let's head back to Queens. I had to pay an extra $160 to get all the wiring installed and stuff, but I, I'll show it to you, but it's gonna have to be really close up so y'all don't see my license plate. One second. So I already took the, like, thing with the ball on it off so I can be able to fit in parking spots. So, like, this little ball thing goes on it, but it's, like, held in place with a pin and I pulled it off. And then here's the hole they had to cut where my license plate used to be. And here's the wiring that you're supposed to use to like plug it into the trailer so the trailer can like blink and stuff. But it's finally installed. So that is that situation all sorted out. A little update on the trailer. So the trailer came in, like the steel one that we were supposed to put together, and the parts were wrong. So we had to ask for another one to be sent in. And then that one came literally yesterday, and those parts were wrong too. So... Uh, <laughs> maybe in like a week or something my dad and I will have time to finally like sit down and like see what we're going to do maybe we can work with the parts that they sent us already and just like figure it out I don't know I don't know it's very frustrating but at least I finally have the hitch installed one little chapter closed at least we have that but that is all I have for today like if you like subscribe if you want to subscribe if you want to follow me on Instagram where I post every single day up on my Instagram right here and that's everything for today I will talk to you next time goodbye Shout out to all my patrons, but especially my bodega bosses and my OG bodega babes. Jessica, Christina, Marlene, Lucia, Alex Creates, Ellen, Michelle, Laura, Kaylin, Marielle, Alex of Planet Earth, Nicole, Jenny, Gemini, Janine, Curtis, Stacey, Michelle, Eduardo, Chloe, Erica, Sunny, Dana, Vanessa, Nakia, Matt, Jasmine, Mariana, LT, Andrew, McKenna, and Shanta. You guys are the absolute best, and these videos are made possible with your support. If you want to support me non-monetarily, then just subscribe and stick around to watch another video. It shows YouTube that you like my content.